Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be answering one of your guys' questions. So let's get into it. All right, so if you're new to my channel, I talk about real estate photography. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe as I put out daily content on a topic. Uh, today's video is inspired from a comment from Hank Junkman. And I made a video uh, that says how to manage the customer experience. If you haven't seen that, the link will be in the description below. But he says, I like your t-shirt idea. Do you have any examples you can share? So um, I was mentioning that we like to add value to our customers in, in little ways um, that don't necessarily add a whole lot of value to us. And actually, we're in the middle of it. My son is actually packaging up shirts to ship out to uh, the customers that requested one. But here's the most recent shirt that we just did. Um, this is a bigger shirt. So anyways, we made this shirt for our customers. It just says, ask me about real estate. And then on the back is just our logo at the top. Yeah, so it's, that's just something small that we do um, because obviously our goal outside of just photography Obviously, our, our main role is to provide the media for our customers, but we like to add value, right? We think if if they're out and about wearing that shirt, that it just might lead to them getting another deal or somebody um, realizing or noticing that they're a real estate agent that they're not, maybe even a friend or somebody that they're hanging around. So anyways, that's just a small example of something that can uh, positively impact your, the customer experience. Now, this is something that we've been doing pretty much on a yearly basis. Since we started initially, we used to give out just our branded uh, Lister Pro shirts. And then recently over the last few years, we've been trying to make it more centered around the customer and, and adding value to them because who wants five of the same shirts? Because typically our, our customers stick around for a long time after they uh, experience um, our, our customer experience. Um, that's not to say that we don't have any issues, but um, you know, when we do have issues, we try to address them uh, right away. So. Anyways, yeah, so that's just something small. It's a t-shirt thing. I think uh, we paid less than 10 bucks a shirt and that's for the printing on the front and back. So find a local screen printing place and depending on the volume that you do, um, yeah, you can get them for pretty cheap. We like cotton poly and to not complicate the, the sorting of it, we just did a unisex shirt. And for a shipment, the labeling, uh, service that we use is pirate ship is that's what I like so I'm just trying to give a little bit more value to this video if you are actually um, interested in doing it oh and uh, I'll show you the printer that I have so this is like a thermal printer it's a Rolo so this thing will print out I think today we just did like 150 labels to ship out that's part of our shirt promotion but yeah having the tools um, to do it because if you don't do it yourself, you're going to be paying a lot of money. Now, maybe you have a lot of extra money. I think they were going to charge us like 3000 bucks to ship a bunch of these shirts. We're like, you know what? And we, we did it ourselves for, I think it's going to be less than a thousand bucks. It's going to be significantly less. So anyways, you can do it on the cheap. You can spend more money and do it. You can do a one. If you don't have a lot of customers, you can, you can do one piece off, uh, from a provider as well like teespring obviously it's going to cost you more per shirt um but that might be a better option for you and they'll ship those directly to customers we've we've done that as well as uh as well in the past so anyways that's it for this video if you got value hit the like button we'll see you guys on the next one